Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And today we're talking about protein shakes specifically for breakfast. Does having a protein shake for breakfast help you lose weight? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? We're going to talk all about it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. Highly, highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about protein shakes. Should you have them for breakfast? Why or why not? You can drink a protein shake and load it with nutritious foods like fruits and vegetables at breakfast for a balanced start to your day or workout, but some protein shakes may offer less nutritional value. Now, protein shakes are great for people on the go, people who are short on time in the morning, but really truly having a protein shake isn't a complete breakfast. You should pair that protein shake with actual food. When we consume something in liquid form like shakes, juices, even water, diet soda, energy drinks, those types of liquid sources of calories, our brain and our stomach don't connect the same way that we've consumed food because it's actually in liquid form. Similar, same goes with protein shakes. So you're better off pairing your protein shake with actual food. But in the event that you are in a hurry and you are out the door, or maybe you're just not super hungry in the morning and you want something that's going to help you reach your protein goal, but you just can't think about actually eating food, then a protein shake is perfectly acceptable to start your day. But I want to talk about why all protein shakes aren't created equal and what you should look for in a balanced protein shake for breakfast. So first let's talk about some of the benefits of having a protein shake in the morning for breakfast. First of all, they are quick and they are convenient. And like I said, if you're not a breakfast eater or you're someone that's short on time in the morning, maybe you're on your way out the door to work or you have to take the kids to school, then a protein shake is an absolutely great choice for breakfast. It's better than stopping at McDonald's or one of those fast food restaurants or a gas station or even Starbucks. You're better off bringing a protein shake out the door with you. They also help keep you full because protein is the number one macronutrient out of carbs, fats, out of protein, carbs, and fats that actually keep you full and satisfied. And it's the hardest macronutrient for your body to digest. So your body burns extra calories just digesting the protein that you're consuming. So it'll keep you full and satisfied. It'll help boost your metabolism in the morning. And really the biggest benefit is it's going to help you reach your protein goal. Now in the morning, you should be having a minimum of 20 grams of protein in your protein shake. Better yet, 30 grams or more is what is recommended. Now there was a study done where people actually consume a protein shake in the morning for breakfast that contained at least 30 grams of protein and some pretty impressive things were found during that study. Those individuals ended up with a lower body mass index overall, a smaller waistline, lower fat mass, decreased appetite, lower fasting blood sugar, lower insulin levels, lower low density lipoprotein levels, which is the bad cholesterol, lower leptin levels, the protein hormone controlling appetite and fat storage, higher the poncetin levels, which is the protein hormone that regulates your metabolism, and higher high density lipoprotein levels, the good cholesterol. Having these protein shakes in the morning for these eight weeks led to these results. That's pretty important. Impressive. It can also help improve your blood sugar regulation. So if you're someone that's diabetic, pre-diabetic, having a protein shake in the morning is actually an excellent choice. And it helps increase the symptoms of low blood sugar, and hunger. It also helps squeeze in those extra nutrients that you might miss in the morning, especially like I said, if you're not a breakfast eater and you're skipping breakfast, adding in a protein shake can really have a lot of benefits. You can throw in veggies. I promise you, I promise, if you throw in spinach or kale, you're not going to taste it. All it's going to do is turn your protein shake a little bit of a shade of green, but you're not going to taste it at all. So you can get all of the nutrients in those vegetables. Things that you can add to protein shakes are spinach, kale, cauliflower rice, zucchini, and beets. And then pop in some fruit for all of that amazing fiber and a healthy source of carbohydrates. Things like strawberries, blueberries, bananas, mangoes, and kiwis. All of these are high in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, and it's going to naturally sweeten your protein shake. And some other really interesting things you can pop in that you won't even know that they're there, but you're going to reap all the rewards of the nutrients are things like nuts, seeds, yogurt, milk, herbs, 
and spices. So what are the effects of having a protein shake in the morning when it comes to weight loss? Consuming enough protein actually increases your metabolism. I get asked all the time by my coaching clients, how do I fix my metabolism? How do I increase it? How do I help my body burn through the calories and foods that I'm eating? Number one is you have to eat enough calories. And number two is you have to increase your protein. So having a protein shake in the morning can get your metabolism fired up and ready to work at its peak performance all day long. It also helps increase your hunger and increase and decrease the amount of food you consume during the day. Like we talked, protein is the one macronutrient that's hardest for your body to digest, and it keeps you full. Protein and fiber, those are the keys to being satisfied. And of course, protein is key for weight loss, but you also have to be mindful of the other ingredients that you're adding to these protein shakes. They can add up very, very quickly in calories. And in addition, you have to be in a caloric deficit to lose weight. That's the only way you're going to lose weight. So you just want to make sure that you're not putting too much in your protein shake, and you're not spiking up the those calories to a level that it doesn't allow you a lot of calories for the rest of the day. Things like nuts, seeds, nut butter, dark chocolate, those are amazing additions, like I said, to protein shakes, but that's where you can really punch up the calories and the fat. So just be mindful of the amount and how many you're adding to your protein shake. So in addition to weight loss, what is a protein shake's role in fitness? Because you hear all of these fitness competitors, these bodybuilders, myself included, I have a protein shake every day. I'm actually currently drinking a protein coffee. So what are the roles with fitness. Consuming a protein shake first thing in the morning can really be beneficial for your workout. If you're like me and someone that works out first thing in the morning, I mean, I'm at boot camp or the gym at 5 a.m. every day. The first thing I do when I wake up is make my protein coffee because at least that way I'm getting in 20 to 30 grams of protein before I even get to my workout. Protein also helps promote muscle recovery, helps promote muscle growth, which is the whole reason we're lifting weights in the gym. And it even helps your body recover after your workout. So it's important to have protein before your workout, along with some carbohydrates, your body's going to reach for those carbohydrates for energy to make it through your workout. And then it's even equally as important, maybe even more important to have a good amount of protein per post-workout to help with muscle recovery. Have your protein shake before and have a good amount of protein or another protein shake after. So with all of these amazing things about having a protein shake in the morning, there's got to be some downsides, right? There is definitely some potential downsides of consuming a protein shake for breakfast. It's really important to be aware of the types of protein shakes you're consuming. So if you're someone that drinks the pre-made protein shakes, I mean, that's what's in here. I have a Quest salted caramel shake in here. That's where you can get into a little bit of trouble ingredient wise. A lot of these pre-made protein shakes are pumped full of things like additives, fillers, and artificial sweeteners. People have difficulty digesting whey protein. So if that is you, then you have to lean on a plant-based protein shake. And really consuming just a protein shake in the morning, like I said, isn't a complete breakfast for most people. I know for me, I have my protein coffee in the morning, which has a protein shake in it. And then I actually eat a complete breakfast. And if I blend up a protein shake later in the day, it's typically a snack for me, not a meal. You're just not getting all of those essential nutrients as if you would consume an actual meal. But if you are going to have that protein shake for breakfast, just make it as balanced as possible. Again, adding in those fruits, those vegetables, nut seeds, nut butter, all of those healthy ingredients to make it basically a full meal and a protein shake. You want to make sure your shake contains vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. I know you're going to ask, what's my recommendation for protein shakes? So for pre-made protein shakes, they're really isn't going to be a clean option on the market. Like I mentioned, pre-made protein shakes like the Quest in my protein coffee, this is where you get all of those additives and artificial sweeteners, but everything in moderation. No food is bad or good, and if it helps you reach your protein goal, consume it. I know for me, I have two protein supplements every day, whether it's in the form of a pre-made protein shake in my coffee, a protein bar, or protein powder. Protein powder is typically my go-to if I'm going to blend up my own protein shake. The ones I can add the veggies, the fruits, the seeds into. My all-time favorite protein powder in the entire world, and the one that I consume almost daily, is Clean Simple Eats. It has an amazing taste to it, no protein aftertaste, really good ingredients. It actually has xylitol as the sweetener, which is one of the most natural artificial sweeteners. Just be mindful of it around your dogs. It is toxic to dogs, so just be careful with that. But Clean Simple Eats is my go-to. Second to that is going to be Devotion. Devotion Nutrition makes an amazing, delicious protein powder. If you like to bake with protein powder, definitely get your hands on Devotion. And if you're someone that prefers plant-based, I would go with something like Orgain. I actually have discount codes for Orgain, Clean Simple Eats and Devotion. I will put them all down below for you, but those would be my recommendations for protein 
powders and protein powders are so versatile. Like I said, you can make protein shakes, you can bake with them, you can mix them into yogurt, you can make protein pudding. It's just an amazing way to get in protein. So what's the takeaway of today's video? Should you be having a protein shake for breakfast? Like I said, if you're not a breakfast eater, if you're someone who really struggles to have time in the morning for breakfast, absolutely have a protein shake in the morning. But make sure that you have a good, well-rounded morning snack or breakfast after the protein shake. In general, a protein shake should not be the only thing you consume for breakfast. Now, if it happens here and there, that's fine, but it shouldn't be on a regular basis because there's so many vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in real food that you need to have in addition to your protein shake. But it can absolutely be a go-to breakfast for you if you're on the go or in a hurry. Just make sure that you're putting all of those good things in there like veggies, fruits, and even those nuts and seeds. Again, I will link my favorite protein powders down below for you. Like I said, I have a discount for all of those. You can even add things like collagen and fiber to your protein shakes. I'll put all of my discount codes for the things that I like to utilize in protein shakes at the top of the description box for you. I'll also have nutrition coaching. Again, I highly recommend those personalized macros and calories and that one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly or you feel like you just need support in your health journey. And of course, links and discounts to my other favorite healthy things. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.